We've been asking for that fight. I've been fucking talking to these people. I talked to his managers, uh, uh, everybody, you know, to make it happen. There comes uh, Ronnie Shield saying that he's not ready. Yeah, his trainer said that, you know, he doesn't feel that he's ready for David. Uh, but that's a big fight. I think we should fight him next, you know. And that guy, you know, he just talks a lot of shit, man. And why don't you go and talk to your team and tell them you're ready. Let's make this shit happen, bro. Well, like in about a year or two, I think he's going to get better. And he's going to be a really dangerous fighter. Why not kick his ass right now? Right now, David will stop him. Let's make this fucking fight happen. Go talk to your team. You know, at the end of the day, the managers are the ones that make that decision. Not him. So I think he's watching right now. And if he watches this, shut the fuck up, bro. You know, go to your team. Let's this. Let's fucking let's go, man. This fucking contract is signed already. What What do you mean? What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Oh! That's how you respond. That's how you respond right there. You hear that, Canelo? You hear that, Canelo? You see that? When somebody wants you, that's how. That's how. That's how you respond. Look, Dave Morrell calls out David Benavidez, calls him a blip, says that his father is a fraud, fraud, fraud. That's how you respond immediately. You say, hey, you want to make that fight? Let's make the fight. Now, let's talk about let's talk about the particulars. This is my favorite part because Jose Benavidez Sr. said it very quick, but we caught it. We caught it. This fucking contract is signed already. This fucking contract is signed already. This fucking contract is signed already. Huh? He said the contract signed. He was talking about that option B, that plan B contract. Meaning if they can't make the fight with Canelo Alvarez, if Canelo Alvarez doesn't accept that fight, then Dave Morrell would be the second option. Here's the thing. I can't fault Morrell's team, Ronnie Shields and all of them, for second guessing it. Dave Morrell ain't second guessing shit. <laughs> Dave Morrell wants he wants the, the, the smoke. His team is second guessing it. But they signed the option B contract. I don't really blame them. Let me tell you what I think. <laughs> I think Team Morrell was thinking, yeah, we're signed to be option B, but it's not going to happen. Look at the lucrative offer that y'all offered Canelo Alvarez. David Benavidez is number one contender. And we found out been mandatory for three years. And I've been, been mandatory for three years to fight for the WBC title. And I've been mandatory for three years to fight for the WBC title. You know what I mean? And there's still the fight's not happening. So, I mean, I don't know. Man, I, I thought champions were supposed to fight the mandatories. You know, he fought the mandatory. It was for the WBC when he fought Ildrum. He took the mandatory, no problems. He fought Ildrum. He took the mandatory, no problems. He fought Ildrum. He took the mandatory, no problems. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on, man. So, obviously, Canelo's going to take the fight, right? So, Morel T was like, sweetly. Dave Morrell was like, bet, bet, bet. Like, he's, he's salivating. He's reading. I heard the time. Listen, I want to say this uh, to, to Team Benavidez. <laughs> Listen, I know you guys talking about Hame Mungia, right? Y'all mentioned that. Look how hot this is. I got secrets, can't leave, can't go. This is on fire. Y'all got personal beef. Morel got that crazy amateur background. You know those Cuban fighters are dangerous. Morel was dangerous. Morel was dangerous. And this man is dangerous. This man is dangerous. Man is dangerous. Man is dangerous. dangerous. I like David Benavidez versus Dave Morel. Like, <laughs> because I'm sweet. Like I said in my live stream, this, I I think Dave Morel is a bigger threat. How many Magia may be a more lucrative, like a higher reward. But I think it's a lower risk. And I'm for the fights. I think if David Benavidez were to announce him versus Munguia, it would just be like, all right, you know, that's how, how bad is this going to look? But I think if he announced Morrell, that's a bigger threat. There's some of you in the comments who actually think Morrell can win. I don't think anybody think Munguia can beat Benavidez. Let, let me know in the comments if you think Munguia can. I'm not in the, I'm not in the world of the business of like I, I don't watch the business of boxing. I watch the sport of boxing. So I want to see the better fight. All right. Let me know in the comments if you think Magia can beat David Benavidez. I don't think so. 
I think David Morrell is a bigger threat. So I want to see that fight. But I want to say this. Thank you, Team Benavidez, for responding. Now, you know, Ronnie Shields and them don't want the fight or whatever. We'll get through all of that. We'll get through all that in a minute. We'll get through all that in a minute. But y'all responded. Now we can start seeing who going to duck who, how things going to go or whatever. I will be covering this. You guys asked me to cover this. Also, I, I'm, I'm done. With Canelo and Benavidez. Canelo ducked him. Low ducked him. Low ducked him. It's a darker Rone pacer. Now, let's see what happens with David Benavidez and Morrell. Because we want that fight. David versus David. David versus David. David versus David. Shaw Biz. Don't. I'm out. Huh.